My name is Grace. I was born on 1st December 2006. I am a Kenyan. My parents told me one year after I was born, we had to move houses because of post-election violence. Why did we have to fight? Our blood is red. Kinikata hizi yangu ni red. Ya nani ni red? All our leaders ni red. Ngori kitokea sana sana. Unajua uko na watu. Na watu watakusaidia. Kama fenye sasa tuko chama, pengine kuna msiba fulani, tunashirikiana na tunasaidiana. Nationhood really is a space where we think about the software of what brings us together as Kenyans, what makes us all aspire to one thing. And I just want to remind us that a national culture is the foundation of a nation. We can de be depressed about many things, but when you step outside to other countries in the region, you see how well Kenya is doing. Our national anthem went viral. Ilimbo ko Olympic Sadi Yani. That made me so proud to be a Kenyan. Kenya has been supreme here at these World Relay Championships. When you're born, you're just born with a dream. But the Kenyan spirit, the Kenyan environment makes you believe that with this dream, I can push forward and actually live my dream. And that's what I love most about being Kenyan. And the Oscar goes to Lupita Nyong'o. <laughs> If you go to Tanzania or to Uganda and you say, what do you think of Kenyans? They see Kenyans as this nation of hustlers, you know, in, in a good way. Kenyans have a work ethic or work attitude that is second to none across East Africa. United. So A lot of times we have been divided by politicians in terms of divide and rule. I think this is where we must come together to say, let's say the right things, let's do the right things. And I think when you talk to people, they all want to do the right thing. I want you to, to think in terms of, um, say, me nam vote here because I know what he can do for me. I know the opportunities I will get because of this person. Because <laughs> lazima ukuwe na watu wote kwa jumla ndio pia zitakula zisha ukiangalia tribal zim coverage kwa jaka wote of SO eh if they taisha sasa siwezi sema eti na usia wa kikuyu jumii ni mkikuyu na usia hadi wajaruo hata kasama wengi ni wajaruo kabila tofauti tofauti if we always worry about our, ourselves our immediate family our ethnic group or, or 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 even our region it makes us think in the short term if we can build a real sense of Kenya as a nation, then it means that we're willing to sort of temporarily make sacrifices as individuals and as communities for the benefit of the, of the whole country. Be a leader first before you're a politician. And uh, because when you're a leader, integrity is paramount. It's not a negotiable thing because for you, you're carrying the destiny of Kenya in your heart. Maybe 42 tribes, but we are united as one Kenya. And we have our diversity in different tribes, but in terms of unity, we have unity in diversity. Kenya sometimes is portrayed to be seen as so divided, but I think we are so together. Look at Kenyans on Twitter. Kenyans are ridiculing CNN online for its hotbed of terror reporting. Kenya, in, in respect to the whole of Africa today, is, is, is second to none. I think we are we're really in a place that is that's amazing. We have education. Our weather is perfect. Geostrategically, we're located in the right place. Kenya is a hub for telecoms, a hub for communication, a hub for transport, logistics. And then, of course, 
the love, the peace, the unity, the good nature of Kenyans. This is my friend Collins and my sister Peace. We live in the same neighborhood. We also go to the same school. I go to his place to play with him and the sisters. Sometimes I take dinner there. My parents do not like it when I eat from their place. We need to start thinking or what can I do? Am I waiting for an opportunity? Should opportunities be given to me or should I go out and grab these opportunities. There's 90,000 Kenyans working as community health volunteers to improve the health of their community. Really what they're doing is they're contributing to Kenya. friendly services quick service It's become really really important to center conversations on what it means to be a nation and on nationhood. So that it's not just one person dictating to us what does it mean to be a nation, but truly how are we engaging with this question of nationhood. I think the people by, by nature are quite okay and that's, that's important that they can be placed anywhere. Within Kenya, somehow, we haven't been able to work things out because of politics and I think this is where we must get ourselves devoid of politics and say, let's have a country that stands up on its own. We can feed ourselves, we can actually clothe ourselves, we can do a lot more, we can be a hub for the rest of the world. Most of the guys up on Akosanga Pesata are in Chama and Nina. In a quite united, Ukum Tani, Nushnafanya. Especially Danora, Nakambia, it may change, big change, because young unity. Unachikata sometimes, sometimes, and as Akosata Unga, Chapo, and as Akosani, and I'm Katua Subin, and eh, Sinado. But you know, unity, it's changing an individual at a time for me, that's what I think. And working with other like-minded people who have the same vision. So I think if we have leaders who can set a clear vision and who can, who can show examples by putting the country first, um, then perhaps, perhaps the rest of the country can do the same as well. Every other person in this republic, and that includes children who are citizens may not be able to fight for those rights. That includes the foreigner, that includes the refugees who are living within our borders. We are responsible for making sure we enjoy this right. Help me and my friends enjoy our rights. Do the right thing.